A Nest Full of Eggs by Priscilla Jenkins, illustrated by Lizzie Rockwell. Let's read and find out science. Stage 1, a Scholastic Incorporated book. Listen, cheer up, cheer up, cheer up. That is the song of a robin. It must be spring. Up in a tree outside my window, a pair of American robins are very busy. They are gathering dry weeds and twigs. They work carefully but quickly. It is almost time. The female weaves the weeds and twigs together with bits of mud that dry like glue. She adds more mud, pressing it with her breast into a cup shape. Then she lines the bottom of the cup with a bed of soft grasses. There the nest is strong, safe, and snug. Now it is ready. Over the next few days, the female robin lays four beautiful blue eggs in the nest. She is sitting on the nest now, keeping the eggs warm. Her mate is close by. He sings loudly, warning other robins to stay away. Inside each egg is a tiny new life. It is growing very fast. The yellow yolk is its liquid food. The clear albumen, which we call the white of an egg, is its watery cushion. Day after day, the mother robin sits on the eggs, patiently waiting. It must be nice and warm in there. That white spot in the middle is the beginning of life. After three days, the life begins to look like a head, a backbone, a heart, and eyes. Already the heart is beating. After five days, a beak, two wings, two legs, and a tail are taking shape. It is the beginning to look like a baby bird in there. After about eight days, the robin is completely formed, right down to its toes. By the twelfth day, the robin has grown so big, it is squeezed inside the egg. It has used up all the food and space. Listen! Peep, 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 peep! A tiny beak is breaking through an eggshell. The eggs are hatching. Crack! Out rolls a baby robin. Soon there are four wobbly little robins in the nest. Their parents feed them worms, berries, seeds, and insects. But the hungry nestlings are always peeping and squawking for more food. Good morning, everyone. In a few days, the baby robins open their eyes. Soft, warm down feathers begin to appear on their bodies. The bigger feathers grow and cover the down. They keep the robins dry and give them color and shape. About 14 days after hatching, the robins have grown their wing and tail feathers. These are their flight feathers, the feathers that will use to fly. Feathers are light but very strong. They are what makes birds so different from all other creatures on earth. Only birds have feathers. Feathers come in many sizes, shapes, and colors. We found these in the yard. Let's look this one up. Robins, like all birds, take good care of their feathers. They comb them and straighten them with their beaks. And they clean them by taking baths in water or dust. Now the young robins are ready to leave their nest, but they are not good flyers yet. They are still learning. For the next few weeks, their parents stay close to them and bring them food. Soon the robins are ready to fly and hunt on their own. Now they can take care of themselves. Next spring they will find mates and have nests of their own. Birds live all over the world. There are about 9,000 different kinds. Each kind of bird makes a nest in its own special way. Birds usually hide their nests where they blend with nature's colors. A bird's nest can be a gathering of leaves on the floor's floor, a woven pouch, a hole in a tree, a scrape on a rocky cliff top, a gigantic heap of branches, a floating platform, 
a woven cup of plants and spider silk, a cup of mud, a scooped out hollow in the sand, or even an old shoe. You can help robins build their nests. In the spring, leave some grass clippings and bits of yarn and string in your yard. Look for robins picking them up. Watch where they go. You may be able to find their nests. Help the robins feel safe by not going too close to the nest or touching it. See if you can tell if the eggs have hatched. As September ends in late September and the days grow shorter, the robins fly south or migrate. They know it is time to leave. Winter is coming. But the robins always return. Listen, cheer up, cheer up, cheer up. Spring is here again.